Hello everyone. Welcome to the uh, second video I'm making of a drawing for my Patreon drawing series. Last month I made two drawings. I made a drawing of Christ, the famous Christ uh, icon from the Sinai. And I also made an image of Christ enthroned from a, an early German um, ivory. And so this month I'm also going to start with another version of Christ enthroned, but this time a Byzantine image. It's taken from one of the most famous uh, Byzantine ivories, which is known as the Harbaville Triptych. And so what I'm hoping to do, I'm trying to really look into clothing and to see the differences in clothing and the differences of styles. Um, even looking at the German image, we can see that clothing is far more uh, of a pattern Whereas in the Byzantine style, we can see how the clothing is more flowing and has a more natural feeling to it. And so I really want to, to dive into that and see what the differences are, what the relationships are. And so hopefully that will be an interesting thing to, to do. All right. So one of the interesting aspects of the, the Byzantine image is, of course, the uh, position of Christ is quite different from the, the, uh, the German one. This, this position, the way that the uh, Christ toga goes around his arm and uh, then under the book, is one which will continue to exist until today, though I would say it's probably not the main image that's used now for Christ in glory. And it's interesting to see how the Byzantines, even in the 10th and 11th century, had really preserved the, uh, the sense of the Roman toga and understood clearly in a, in, in a physical way what was happening with the clothing, wherein as the German image um, what makes that interesting is there seems to be a more of an effort to, to uh, create these patterns of folds that go down the figure and less of an effort to work out exactly, let's say, physically what the, uh, the clothing is doing and how it's actually laying on the person. And so in a way, the, the Byzantine image is more naturalistic and the German image is more hieratic and stylized. And I think it's important, I think at least for me in the work that I'm doing, in the carving that I'm doing, I'm really trying to get the best of both of those. The best of uh, the, the abstraction and the stylization, which is maybe more prominent in the Romanesque and in the, uh, the, northern, the northern images, while preserving the sense, at least the best of what the Byzantine and the Roman tradition had to offer in terms of, uh, of a, a play, let's say, of a musical feeling, a uh, flowing feeling in the clothing and in the hair. One of the things I really struggle with the ivories is the faces. I really and not prone to following the types of faces that were used either by the Byzantines or by the Germans. And so I tend to make my use the, the, the clothing quite a bit because I think the clothing is very well resolved and well understood and interesting. But the, um, the face, I tend to resort to um, painted icons and to see how to adapt the best of the painted icons into a carving.